All right, everyone, welcome to part three. Um, in this video, I got this um, one inch rod um, or pipe, and I have three quarters of an inch um, ball bearings. So those are useless until I get one inch ones. Um, but what I'm gonna do today is attach this to this rod. And um, I have these little electrical clamps in here that I'm gonna use. Um, and then we're gonna have to drill right through the center of this. So uh, let's get on to that. All right guys, so the best way I have for finding the center in one of these is just taking the speed square and lining it up along the diagonal, drawing a line, lining it up on the other diagonal, drawing another line, and where those lines intersect is the center point. So then we're gonna position the tip and drill it. Now on the other side. All right, so in here we actually have a screw and I forgot I screwed this in, it's to hold the key. Um, I, I don't think it needs, it, it doesn't need to be here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try and drill around it and then hopefully I should just be able to push it out. Um, and so it hopefully it won't be a problem, but it's, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass, so, yep. Like an hour ago, I was at the hardware store and I was looking at these chisels and I was thinking, you know, it'd be nice if I bought some. And then I did it. And now I'm really wishing I did. Alright, so every DeWalt battery in our house is dead, um, and I haven't been able to get that thing out of there. And now I have this giant bar stuck in here, and I can't pull it out. So I'm going to call it a day, and come back tomorrow. Hopefully have recharged batteries. Alright, so it's the next day. Um, I came back, recharged the batteries, um, and I tried to get the screw out. I was successful, and I managed to hammer this pipe uh, right through. And then it lined up to about 19 and around about um, a quarter um, on both sides. So it's perfectly centered and this is what it looks like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those little electrical clamps and screw them on.
All right, so now that we have these all attached, like so with these electrical clamps, the next stage is to mount it up here. All right, so the next step is to get something to hold these in place. Um, I think I'm going to give up on ball bearings for now, um, but maybe later we'll get some in. Okay, guys, so it's a week later, and you can see the supports. Um, that were on top of this rock wall are gone and the reason for that is I'm actually extending them downwards about four feet um, And basically I need to tear up this wall uh, both these walls um, And I need to get rid of them because they're just really not stable um, They're they're kind of crap um, And I can't level the beam um, properly nor can I secure it to these without like um, a bunch of work that probably will just break soon so i figured it's just better i'm going to tear all this out and then we're going to put the uh, new beams that are holding up the things um so yeah i'm going to take this um apart and then we're gonna i'm going to show you the beams that i built all right so let's talk about the supports i built um so this up that's the original support um and then i took these about four feet i think Maybe a bit more than that, uh, beams, and I just screwed them in. I was going to have um, braces to brace them, but then they kind of didn't work out. <laughs> um, so I have those, and then I have these um, in the middle, like that. And I have another one. So these are going to go on both sides with about 16 inches in between or so. All right, so now i got to put these on the cart and bring them down. Alright, so I've set these all up, um, and you can see their space, and I have these temporarily to um, just keep it up, from fall prevent it from tipping over. So um, now, alright, so the space in between these two is supposed to be about 17 and a half. Um, that's what I have it down here. So I want it to line up here, 17 and a half in the middle. Um, so if I take 17 and a half, 4 inches on both sides, so 4, 4, 8 inches, 17 and a half, plus 8. Um, we get about 25 and a half. So from here to here it needs to be 25 and a half. And right up here, this is where the water wheel is going to go. And uh, half the water wheel is going to be below this line. So the water wheel is four feet. So half of that, two feet. Uh, hook, two, hook two feet. Um, and so anything from below here we can use to secure because the water wheel won't be touching it. So based off of that, uh, we can take one of one of these, um, one of these pallet pieces, and just go from this end to this end, uh, and I'll cut it 25 and a half and make sure it lines up. That way, these two are connected to each other. All right, so I went ahead and cut um, two 25 and a half um, inch boards, and I'm going to secure them to the bottom now.
Okay, so um, I tried to get up here, um, I failed. And now that it's down here, I'm kind of realizing that when it's mounted at this level, it actually kind of, um, it's aligned. And so I think since this is lower, it's also gonna be a lot better. So I guess I'm glad I made this, this mistake. The only thing is when the water wheel fell, um, it fell right onto this board. Luckily it was only one screw, but it, it broke the board, knocked the screw right out. Um, and I, I'm not worried about that. I'm more worried about if the, ooh, if the wheel was damaged or not, but I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna record this. I'm just gonna cut and hopefully we'll have it all set up. All right. All right, so these um, these little wood bearings, they're kind of temporary. Um, up until I get this thing running, then I'll buy some real ones. But um, I don't know if the WD-40 is actually going to help. I don't think it will, but figured it was worth a shot. And, yep, so I have this all set up. I'm going to add some support, and I'll see you in part four, where hopefully we'll get this thing spinning um, with water, that is. All right, see ya.